would happen if you say what you want to say? Let the words fall out. Honestly, I want to see you be brave. What you want to say? Let the words fall out. Honestly, I want to see you be brave. Everybody's been there, everybody's been stared down by the enemy. How are you? Yeah. Hi, my name's Katie and this is my Theatre Bugs story and song application. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all steamy, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Terry the Teapot lived at number 37 Orange Tree Road with the Upfold family who had their favourite Yorkshire tea every single morning. Terry loved it and so did the Upfold family. But one evening Mrs Swift came over with a box of orange tea that she'd made with the orange trees at the end of the road. The family were very excited to try the new tea but Terry didn't want to try a new tea. The next morning, Terry was very scared. But the orange tea was absolutely lovely. He couldn't believe how lovely and light it felt. The Upfold family really, really liked it. And Terry absolutely loved it too. Antique decided I should have a piratey beard, so he plaited my hair into a beard. This is trying on the hats in Camden. Ah, <laughs> yeah, special ones. Some random guy whose hat I took. We went to Sophie and Jordan's, and had some pre drinks, and then we got on a bus. And on the bus, there was just a man with a really silly grey like wrinkly kind of hat and um we we were kind of tipsy and Jordan said hey Katie try, why don't you ask that man to borrow his hat so I just tapped on the shoulder and said excuse me please could I borrow your hat I promise I'll give it back and he kind of reluctantly kind of said oh okay then um so I took his hat and they took a picture of me in it <laughs> and then if they were were kind of unsure and not totally willing, I said, it's for charity. Which was maybe naughty because <laughs> there was no charity involved. And then, yeah, I just had a load of pictures of me wearing a load of random people's hats. constantly have to do laundry you know it's like you do some but then you make some more and you do some and then you make some more I got peace in my heart oh you're filming <laughs> I think there were two occasions when I realized in like a sports setting how um uncompetitive I was Firstly, when I was in year three and um, there was the like cross country event at, at um, Farnham Park where you run a mile. My class were all really excited for sports day and the whole year was. And, um, I like my clock. I like my painting and my poster. And I like 
I might may the world be your oyster sign. And I like my lamp. I like the colours, I love my photos. I like my things, I like my bed. I got to the end and my parents were like, go on Katie, go on Katie. And, it went, and then I was like, I stopped and I like looked around. And they were like, Katie, what are you doing? Why are you stopping running? And like people were coming and passing me. And I was like, oh, I'm waiting for Alice. So I like just stood and waited five minutes until my friend came along. And then we ran like the last bit together. I think she was called Lorne. <laughs> and she was like, I'm Lorne. I'm going traveling and then I'll be back in LA before I start tell us um and I'm going to Made in America festival and they were like hey we are too and they were like come stay and I was like I'll be with another friend and they said yeah that's fine just bring her so me and my friend Ellen went and we stayed, stayed at that house for a night and went to the festival and it was really fun and it was just funny because we were just in a bar and I just saw a load of people trying to squeeze in a into a photo so I just said, hey, can I help you? I can take a photo. Mm. And then we ended up staying in an amazing penthouse and then I came back to visit them and stayed with them again. All from that. So, yeah, that's my story. Raise your hand if you really, really care about winning sports day. And everyone put their hand up apart from me. And then she said, now put up your hand if you're just doing this for fun. And I put up my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't care at all. I just, like, I just I wanted to have fun. And um, basically everybody went. Um, she was like, okay, Katie, can I speak to you at the end, please? And everybody went and then she spoke to me and she said, um, Katie, I just don't feel like you're invested in this, really. I, I feel like you're letting your class down. And I cried. I'm happy. I'm so, I'm so happy. You know, I love my life. I love myself. I love my friends. I love London. I love dancing. I have art. I love life. Sometimes people say, oh, Katie, you're happy all the time. Like, is it not exhausting? And I'm like, I'm not happy all the time. Like, you don't always see me when I'm down and I'm not upset a lot. So I'm not having a good time. I'm always open, but sometimes if I'm a bit down, I'm like, oh, I don't want to even talk about dancing or anything because I'm feeling like, oh, dancing. I'm very open. I can't lie. Like, I just rubbish at lying. And also just because I feel like it's better to be open. And there are consequences of having an open heart. And sometimes... That's difficult. I just want, I want to help people. I want people to be happy. I want the world to be happy. I want, I want people to enjoy life. I think if people enjoy life, then we're all winning. Because there's no, there's no best. There's just happiness. I think honesty is important. And I really struggle when people aren't honest and when people... If I'm upset with someone, I will be upset with someone. I can't turn it on and just suddenly pretend I'm not upset with them for a bit. I find it hard to just turn things on and off. It's like sometimes dance teachers say, whatever's happened at lunchtime, whatever's happened in your day, forget it. Come into class, open book, open mind. You know? Yeah, I find it very challenging. Is it a skirt? Is it a skirt? Oh no, it's both! Skirt! 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 It's embarrassing that me trying my best is not good enough when everyone else's best is good enough. Wanna come see? Over here. When nothing is certain, everything is possible. I really like that. Um, may the spirit open the right doors at the right times to lead you where you are meant to go. Go the extra mile, it's never crowded. Always remember the difference between those who feed your ego and those who feed your soul. That's good, I think. 
pretty sure I've never been in love. But at the same time, I feel like I love it. Which seems really, I don't know, strange and romantic. And I think... I think I have really high expectations and um, I just, I really enjoy being single. I don't think I've ever kissed someone and thought, been really, really excited by it. Like every time, I don't know, I, I, I'm excited about meeting someone and just Re really, really being excited by a connection. Say what you wanna say and let the words fall out. Honestly, I wanna see you be brave. What you wanna say and let the words fall out. Honestly, I wanna see you be brave. Yeah, I think I should end there. <laughs> it goes on. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, I no. Honestly, though, are you? So it's just going to be silence and then my voice for the rest of the film. Maybe you should have some calm background music. 